Hey everyone, it's Justin again. In the last video, we solved word problems that included equations. This time, we'll create equations for word problems that don't already have them. First problem, Samantha has 60 square meters of fence to paint. She paints at a constant speed, and after three hours, she has only six square meters left to paint. In order to write an equation for this problem, we need two key pieces, the y-intercept and the slope. The y-intercept is always the initial or starting value. The problem tells us that Samantha started with 60 square meters to paint, so the y-intercept will be zero hours, 60 square meters. Now for the slope, we'll need to find the rate at which she's painting in square meters per hour. The amount left to be painted went from 60 to six. So it went down 54 square meters and it took three hours to get to that point. So the amount left to be painted is decreasing at a rate of 18 square meters per hour. Now that we have our y-intercept and our slope, we can write the equation. The amount of fence left to be painted is 60 minus 18 per hour. If we use variables, we get F equals 60 minus 18 H. Next problem. Jacob can run 12 miles, but he wants to run the upcoming marathon. So he begins training. 28 days later, he manages to run 26 miles. Wow. If we want to write this equation, we're going to need the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is pretty clear here. Before Jacob did any training, he was already able to run 12 miles. So we get a y-intercept of zero days trained, 12 miles. For the slope, we need to know how many more miles Jacob can run for each day he trains. He improved his distance by 14 miles, and it took him 28 days to reach that point. If we divide, we find that Jacob increased his distance by half a mile per day. Now we can write our equation. The number of miles Jacob can run is equal to half a mile per day times the number of days he's been training plus 12. If we use variables instead, the equation becomes m equals one half d plus 12. Ben reaches 30 meters high climbing on a mountain, but still has a long way to go. Three hours later, he's made it to 414 meters. We know that Ben started at 30 meters. It took him three hours to climb up 384 meters. So he climbed at a rate of 128 meters per hour. Our equation will be that the height Ben has climbed is 128 times the number of hours climbing plus 30, or C equals 128H plus 30. Writing equations for problems is easy, as long as you can identify the slope and the y-intercept. In the next lesson, we'll be learning how to write equations with two points, including a new form of equation. Hey, hey.